The Frenzy God Mode glitch just got a thousand times better. What's going on guys, Wesley here, and today I'm gonna show you everything that has changed, including the different augments that you use instead, how to skip spider rounds completely, which has been a huge issue for a lot of us doing this glitch, as well as how you can actually get lethal mastery challenges completed with this glitch. There's so many things that I've learned over the past couple of days. I'm gonna share them with you, and I'm also gonna show you the best setup for this glitch, and even a double XP exploit that allows you to use, for example, 15 minute double XP tokens for four hours worth of zombies gameplay. So you can do this glitch, play for four hours completely AFK, use a 15 minute XP token and X fill, and you will get four hours of double XP. It is insane. So first of all, God mode recipients. Let's go over the augments that have changed. Retribution and repair boost is still used for the God mode recipients, but you can also use durable plates instead of hardened plates for Juggernog for those augments, but you'll still use turtle shell. Now for the helper, the helper has definitely changed. What they're gonna use instead, they're gonna use phalanx and extension now they're going to use that instead of repair boost for a particular reason this is part of the glitch and multiple different of these augments together will allow you to have protection from the front and the back so let's go over exactly how you need to do this glitch so once you have all of your augments equipped let's hop into a game and let me show you exactly the best way to do this glitch by the first couple of rounds and how you can maximize your xp so the first thing that you should do is head into the game and your highest priority is to go grab this water valve now the reason for this is it's right next to Juggernog. You're gonna need Juggernog as soon as you do this glitch. So I suggest that you just go over to the right instead of to the left and instead of going straight to the bowling alley and then come through the bank here and start doing the glitch. Now, if you don't know about the swords behind the barrier, you can look that up in a previous video or ask me down below. But essentially how you do the new frenzy gone mode glitch is your friend will call in their frenzy guard and then they will down themselves with a grenade and then leave the game. That has changed since from the last time where you would just call it in and then leave the game. At that point, I would suggest that you buy Juggernog and you activate Rampage mode. Now you can do this in whatever particular order that you want. At this point, you're gonna have protection from the front, but not from the back. So what you wanna do is go ahead and place that water valve on and pump it up at least a little bit. What this is going to do while you're in the bowling alley is prevent spider rounds. I don't know how this works, but essentially you're uh, in the Easter egg step and it doesn't allow spider rounds to come about. I went about 15 rounds and never had a spider round. Now at this point, your highest priority is to upgrade your knife. You want to upgrade the legendary status as soon as possible. But the first thing that you should do before anything else at this point when you have your knife out is you should buy melee macchiato because for a lot of rounds, especially if you have the augments to upgrade it like I do then you will actually have insta kill for a long time so go ahead and upgrade your knife to the maximum level before you go ahead and do the next steps I would suggest just hanging out in this room near here now I'm gonna show you how to do those uh, lethal mastery camos now go into your settings and look for lethal equipment and you can see up at the top right uh, related settings equipment behavior right here click on this and switch it to toggle now what this is going to allow you to do is essentially press your lethal button and you will take out your lethal now this doesn't work for grenades or anything that cooks but obviously for combat axes and stuff like that where you can hold it and then throw it like molotovs and things like that you can literally get kills that count towards those lethal so once you are fully upgraded with your knife to legendary status or however high that you want to get at this point you should have full god mode from the front and back how this essentially works is when you kill a monster or kill a zombie you will get all of your plates back so if you have a three plate durable vest on like i do right now i tested out the shed but in my opinion it is way too crowded and as you can see i acted completely afk and i started getting pushed out i would not suggest the shed for this glitch. We're gonna go over exactly how you could do this in any corner or you can walk around the map and play as usual, it does not matter. But the things that are dangerous to you, number one and first and foremost are the spiders as well as the abomination and mangler shot. So if you were going completely AFK, you're still gonna stand in a corner, but just keep in mind that if you want to play the game, this is full walking god mode because every single time that a zombie hits you with your knife out, you're gonna get all of your plates back. And as we all know, when you get to the higher rounds, there just tons of zombies so as you can see here I sit here for multiple different rounds and no spiders will spawn because I have that water pressure up as long as you're in the bowling alley in one of these corners and you're just sitting in the bowling alley with that water pressure you won't get these spider rounds now the abomination will be able to come into the bowling alley eventually but he actually does not come in very often so it's super easy this is actually my personal favorite corner right here and if you leave it overnight just make sure that you have your controller with the 
the left stick pressing down or if you're on PC, you can use the macro script in the description down below or have something pressing your S key. Now, what you're gonna do once you wanna exfil and how you get that double XP exploit going is simply go over to the crafting table over here when you're on your way to the exfil and make sure that you buy a chopper gunner. That makes it so much easier for you to exfil and we're gonna do this at double XP exploit now. So call in the chopper gunner and then you just want to clear things out and once things are completely clear, enter the exfil vehicle. Now, as soon as you enter the exfil vehicle, what you wanna do is press start and activate your double XP. How this essentially works is it's going to count for all the XP that you got in game and not just the last couple of seconds. It is absolutely insane how this works. So just as proof, here is the total XP I got, which was 51,000. And then instead I got 103,000. So thank you guys for watching, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.